Hi, I'm Richard, a professional admissions university consultant. And over the past 10 years, I've helped students get into MBAs such as Cambridge, Oxford, LBS and INSEAD with a 98% offer rate. That is five times the typical rate of 20% that most candidates have. Now, Cambridge MBA and EMBA programs are post-experience programs. On average, there will be six years of work experience for the MBA, although that will go all the way up over 20. And the executive MBA is on average 12 years of postgraduate experience and at least five in management. However, the candidates that we have supported have had half those averages because of the tips that we're going to be sharing for the first time in this video that gave them a competitive edge. Number one for Cambridge is the ability of storytelling. Now, this is a fantastic MBA and you only require a 2-1. In fact, they will consider people with below a 2-2 degree if they tell a brilliant story. Storytelling is the art of taking all of your achievements, your work experiences and your career to date, the academic and extra achievements and any excellence you've had, awards, scholarships, speeches, talks, research papers, whatever makes you brilliant, your X factor that helps you stand out, and rewriting that as a Hollywood script of your life, putting it all together in a way that it sounds brilliantly, brilliantly mapped out so that everything is leading to this MBA or EMBA, and most importantly, what are you going to do next with this MBA? What are you going to transition into? I love working students on their MBA. I get to know them really well, and I get to make them the heroes of their own story. You should be bold, you should be confident, and in that interview, you should be believable. Now, number two, and very related, is a social impact. Cambridge believes strongly in corporate social responsibility. There will be questions on what positive impact you are going to have with your degree. Many people will talk about ESG and sustainability and ethical governance. That is, of course, an advantage on these questions. But in any field you work in, you can have an impact, whether it's promoting diversity in the workplace or helping to solve a massive challenge that the global population is facing. So take that story and now accelerate it into a positive impact. You want the admissions professional to be thinking, if I reject this candidate, the world is going to be a less good place. Number three, a solid career plan. It's great telling a story. It's great to claim you have a social impact, but it's got to be believable. They are looking for at least five years post-graduation. What specific job are you going to have immediately after the MBA? And you will be asked by Cambridge, does this company recruit MBAs? Because they want to make sure that you're adding to their fantastic employment statistics. Then what are you going to manage two years after that? What are you going to lead or achieve five years after that? The more specific, the better researched your application is, the more likely you are to stand out from the crowd. Now that's just three of the tens of tips we have for Cambridge MBA and executive MBA programs. If you'd like to work with admissions professionals such as myself or one of the fantastic experts in our network, please contact us using the information on screen now and in the description. We also have exemplar personal statements and pillars that you can subscribe to in the contact form below and check out more on our series of how to ace the top MBAs in the world. Best of luck with your application. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe or leave a comment and we'll try and get back to your personal question as quickly as we can.